Hey everybody, it's Chris and Stephanie with Central Station Toys here in Cleburne, Texas. And we wanted to talk today about Lego Masters that was uh, on Fox on Wednesday night. Um, what did you think about uh, Lego Masters, Stephanie? I thought it was fun. It was definitely creative. But it was, a, it was fun to watch. It was a little bit tense. You, you don't think you'd be tense with a building competition. True. <laughs> True. And sometimes some it got a little mean sometimes with some people. Uh, it was interesting that the one team that had never built together before, uh, I guess we don't realize how Lego can either bring people together or tear them apart. Yeah, even the father-son... Uh, uh, they got tense with them. Yeah, they got a little tense. You can see that the sons get a little frustrated with his dad that he wasn't quite up to par. Seemed to look at or times. He wasn't on board with his ideas. Yeah, he was. He did not always like that. Yeah, the team that surprised me though was the 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 um, the ladies that were from the Ozarks. <laughs> you know, they were fun. <laughs> I just, I guess in my mind, I don't think of that demographic as uh, Lego Masters. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know. That's yeah, you have no idea who's going to well, actually... a just... lot of people think that Legos are just for kids or that it's mostly kids that play with them. But actually, there are lots of adults around the world that play with Lego and they build, they create their own things. And so to have something like this giving exposure to the fact that it's not just kids, I thought that was fun and yeah, great. I agree. So It's interesting, you know, and as you say that, you know, I think so many times, you know, we, we run a toy store and people are coming in here thinking, oh, we've got your toys for your kids. This is not just for kids. I mean, this is, sure. many adults come through here, so don't be afraid to come in and see the store. <laughs> And uh, so one of the things that I do, I, I do want to see how they built certain things in that. So I, w I hope that as the show goes on, they'll show kind of behind the scenes, like how they built the Ferris wheel. Because they were super impressed not with a, his Not a 12 wheel. hour time gap there? No. Yeah. <laughs> because, well, how did he go from like, oh, I'm going to put these few bricks here and then boom, it's done. It's a Ferris wheel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, how did that happen? If I don't have a fairy, how did that happen? And, and the same thing, like even with the roller coaster, that the the oh the timber oh, timberland, timberland. You know, they they built this roller coaster and everybody was jealous of it. Oh. And then what happened? I mean, they just all. If of you sudden, haven't seen the show, sorry. <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. That was tough. That was the toughest part of the show. Was that whole scenario play out because those guys were awesome their idea was amazing I thought their park was absolutely incredible and everything was going so well and oh man someone dropped their Legos on the floor <laughs> and you see it hurts your feet but it can also hurt your chances yes it hurt so, your heart it, did. it was heartbreaking. <laughs> that was heartbreaking. I have to say, that was really heartbreaking. Yeah. Uh, and they were one of my favorite teams from the get-go. What, what do you think coming forward? What do you, what do you expect to see? Oh, man. Um, well, I expect that now that we've gotten through the get-to-know-you parts, we're going to see more of the getting to know, like, how they do this stuff because that really is fascinating to see um, a lot of the builds, like the nitty gritty of it. Like, did they try, like on their first try, did they get this? Or, you know, was this a lot of trial and error? Because it, I mean, these are tiny parts yeah. and you're turning into something grand and in some cases moving. And so how did they, how did they do that? Like, I want to see more of that. And I also, would like to see um, more, uh, well, I'm excited about the different ideas they had because I thought that was really cool where they had that huge table and then everybody took their own table. I was like, oh, what in the and world? Play together. Yes. Yeah. And then they all put them together. And I mean, literally like the 
are running to put it together at the last minute. And I will say, I want that monorail running through the store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's going to be a huge rail. Yeah, that'd be, but, a, big, that'd be uh, a big build here. But I think I know good. someone that could help us with yeah, that. We yeah. Get... <laughs> yep. Yeah, monorail running through the store, I think, would be a, necessis, a necessity here. But I think so. I'd even yeah. settle for a train. Yeah, I think so. Not settle. Oh, man. You don't want to just settle. No, yeah, no, no, I mean, it's not a settling for a train because trains are awesome. Yeah. And I don't know if I want more Batman or less Batman. Will jokes. Arnett, I love Batman Will Arnett. I, I think Will Arnett is hilarious. <laughs> um, the jokes were great. But again, there, there is that technical I side that, that I would love to see more of the technical side too. So I'm, but I I'm torn as to which way I want it. <laughs> sometimes there was more time spent on his like joke and waiting for his facial expression, uh -huh. then, okay, we could have cut out the five minutes of that here and showed us how did they do this. Uh, well, when you have so, a one hour show, you're trying to keep everybody entertained, and I get it, because this is going to, this. if you haven't seen it yet, I mean, it's, it's going to, if you're a Lego enthusiast, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, you can see these creations. You may not like the day, the piece by piece of it, but when you see what they were starting with and what they built, yeah. It's incredible. I do. But if favorite. you're if you're not an enthusiast, I think the jokes and the the story kind of comes together to give you a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I think they're trying to dabble levity. for everyone. Yeah. Um, but the uh, Lego fanatics want more nitty gritty. Like, show me how to do this, and if they don't already know, <laughs> a lot of them know yeah. how to do that. So, but you know, some of the things that they did were pretty amazing, especially for. The time that they had, it was. I don't know if they didn't eat, sleep, or use the potty at all. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm sure they. Was didn't. it 15 hours straight, or did they take? Yeah, two they never showed shifts? anybody leaving <laughs> or coming back. But you know, yeah. As a normal human being, you would have to take breaks to do all that, and most people have jobs. All right, so so <laughs> comes down comes down to well, there's, now down to it. How many bricks do you give? <laughs> hmm. Uh, I would say four. Oh, we can stack these. Four bricks. I give it four bricks. For this and you know why? For this episode? No, yeah, I mean, I'm taking away one because, well, I won't take away one. I just won't give. There was a little too much on some of the backstory that wasn't enough of, like, in their backstory about, like, specific of what their builds are. I mean, these are supposed to be Lego masters. Got it. And you want to know specifically, like, what do they specialize in? We heard the one guy mm -hmm. that built the the uh, Ferris wheel that he was really good at the techniques and all that. But I don't, I don't yeah. recall anybody else. That's true because like, they didn't talk about the their the, cospl types of the cosplayers. They talk more about the cosplay rather than yes. their Lego experience. Yet their build was incredible. And yeah. you know, just yeah, I get it. So, so just yeah, because I love Will Arnett, I'm giving that extra half. So we'll go four and a half stars. <laughs> and you like because Batman, I so. love Batman. There's <laughs> yeah. But if you want to be inspired or are inspired by Lego Masters, we have our brickyard here at Central Station Toys. Come in, build, see what you can create. Um, our kids love creating um, and just building off the top of their heads. And no, we're nowhere near that talented, but who knows? They your little one master. your little one may become a Lego master someday, but let them be inspired here. Also, I'm curious, what would you give the, the first episode? How many bricks would you give it? You know, I, I'm curious how many, how many bricks the, our viewers would. In the comments, let us know. Uh, let you know. Let us know what you thought of the show. If it's something uh, favorite parts, you're going to continue part. watching. If not, we're going to continue reviewing this every week. Uh, if you, you know, remember it's on Fox uh, on Wednesday nights, um, and uh, I think it's worth checking out. We're going to continue watching it. We'll bring you a review of our thoughts every week, and uh, we'd love to see you down here at Central Station Toys or visit us online at centralstationtoys.com to see what kind of uh, challenge or what kind of event we have going on because we will have constant uh we're inspired by this and we want to have a challenge for you so come to central station toys find your passion 
and uh, come play with Legos. We'd love to see you here in show downtown us your builds. Cleburne, Texas. Yep, and show us your builds. Have a great day. Bye. You didn't earn it.